Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So Amy and, and the friends have made uh, an Illinois Nature Preserves weekend out of our meeting. So, we, you know, we started with this sort of as the capstone, and then they built around it. And if you are a part of one of the, how many field trips did we have? 30? About 30 field trips around the state, all coordinated by friends. When, when Amy suggested that, I said, I, I don't want one more thing to do. <laughs> and I said, but if you want to do it, go for it. And she did. And it was awesome. And so we had, I think there's been like over 600 individual people somehow involved in this weekend, um, whether through a field trip or through the event yesterday or today. So, um, so here's what I want to say. Clearly, this is not my meeting. This is our meeting. And, and when I say our meeting, all of us in this room is our meeting. And, and I want to get it started. Day. And it's a wonderful day and a wonderful space. Um, just a few little personal notes. I'll say this is my fourth time here at the Illinois Beach State Park since I've been with DNR, just, just right over two years now. And um, this morning was extra special. I got to stay here at the hotel last night. I got up right at the sunrise and was out there as the, as the sun was almost fully up and did a few miles all the way down past the campground. And it was, um, it was glorious. It was a wonderful, wonderful way to start my day. Illinois Beach was designated as a state park in 1948 with strong public support spearheaded by the Illinois Dunes Land Preservation Society. This organization recognized the beauty and the importance of this place before the nature preserve system was even created. We owe a debt of gratitude for those with the foresight and passion that was necessary to protect this ecological gem. The Illinois Natural Areas Preservation Act was signed into law on this very day 60 years ago by then Governor Otto Kerner. This bipartisan landmark legislation created an enduring system of nature preserves held in trust for the benefit of present and future generations of Illinois citizens. It is remarkable that this state legislation created in 1963 preceded our nation's landmark environmental legislation such as the Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, and Endangered Species Act. And it was fitting that in October 1964, Illinois Beach State Park was chosen as Illinois' first dedicated nature preserve due to its rich biodiversity of plants, animals, and natural communities. We are at an unprecedented time in human history, and that is what gives me the optimism to know that this day will not stand alone, that we will have more days like this because humans will learn to persevere, humans will learn how to protect, but the one thing I know that gives me the most optimism, nature always wins. Nature knows, and we got to make sure that we're listening to what she's telling us. Thank you very much. I will never forget the very first, it was, I don't know how it happened, but the very first box, the very first file folder, the very first piece of paper that I saw written by George Fell was entitled, We Strive for Beauty. Everywhere we look in the natural world, we perceive beauty in form and color, George wrote, whether in magnificent scenery or in the subtle patterns formed by bare branches against the winter sky or the intricate mosaic of ground cover vegetation. How many people have a cause of any kind, a purpose in life? What nobler cause can there possibly be? What we do is as important and selfless as feeding the hungry, healing the sick, teaching and helping people in other ways.
To us, our work is among the most basic of charities. We fight a difficult and frustrating battle with tragic losses, but we are making great accomplishments. What other cause can claim more? Thank you. But moving into the future, I think we need to speak about them collectively as more than Illinois' native natural communities, and maybe more as, than just natural lands or natural areas. In today's world, we have marketing professionals and linguists who specialize in this stuff. Let's ask their help in evolving language that conveys a deeper reverence for these lands, that encourages all people to connect with them, take ownership of them, that expresses the obligation we should feel and the commitment we must make to nurture these lands so that we as people can continue to learn from them and evolve our cultures to be more compatible with them into the distant future. You've heard uh, mentioned several times today of Philip Juris, an artist from uh, Georgia who's painted many uh, uh, port or paintings from our uh, nature preserve system. And Philip is with us today. If you were um, fortunate enough to join us yesterday, it was really fun to listen to him describe the way he approaches his paintings and what he's trying to convey in that. So Philip, we'd like you to have the opportunity to say a few words, and I think you've got something you want to do. So Philip Juris. Well, it's a real pleasure and an honor to come before you today as the official artist in residence of the Illinois Nature Preserve System. <laughs> That's a, a self, it's a self-appointed position, of course. <laughs> so I have no uh, authority. But, um, but that said, I, I've had the, the great pleasure to explore dozens of nature preserves across the state. And uh, I had been able to document over, over a couple dozen of them in oil on canvas. And thank you, Arthur, for uh, giving a promotion to my exhibit that's on view right now at the Lockport Gallery of the Illinois State Museum. I hope you all can go if you haven't made it. But so um, in, a, in, in great appreciation for 60 years of stewardship that made, that, that made my adventures possible, and especially for today's community, of landowners, volunteers, uh, stewards, elected officials, appointees, and especially Illinois DNR staff who really put their heart and soul into it and have kept this system running and will keep it sprinting into the future. I would like to say a great a big thank you and present this painting of the Illinois Beach State Park from two months ago, and now I know it's called a penne. I think that, <laughs> I wasn't sure what it was called. Um, I would like to present this to the Illinois Department of Natural Resources with uh, in, in, in appreciation, so thank you. Thank you, that is Way down upon the Wabash, such land was never known. If Adam had crossed over it, the land he surely owned. He'd swear it was a garden he played in as a boy, and then proclaim it Eden in the state of Illinois. So move your family westward, good health you will enjoy. You'll rise to wealth and honor in the state of Illinois. I love that song. <laughs> 